Hello and welcome to my channel. I know it has been a long time now, again, probably a month or so before, uh, since I last published something. So things have quieted down again on this channel quite a bit. And I thought it's probably time that I give you a channel status update, uh, explain a little bit of where I came from, where I'm at the moment and where I'm kind of heading future and no i'm not going to stop things so don't don't be worried uh, i don't intend to not do anything anymore uh, but it's a phase in life again uh, where things out of my power happened and influence what i can do and considerably again and therefore I need to kind of adjust things and you have seen this adjustment already because uh, it is relatively quiet on this channel. Just to remind you a little bit of where I came from and why I actually did all this here with the YouTube. Um, I think the oldest video that I published was in 2013. Um, I've deleted some of the very old and quite bad ones actually. <laughs> Uh, videos I I removed them uh, from the channel because uh, they're, they're they're not they're not really helpful anymore. But um, at least now ten year ten to eleven years ago, I, I I started with this YouTube, and the reason why I started with this YouTube is because not that many years ago, um, it was those emerging YouTube channels about uh, flight simming at that time was still FSX and, uh, and prepared and, and explain well, 10, I think. Was it already 10 at that time or explain nine? Yeah, I can't actually remember. Um, videos on YouTube was one of the sources beside the forums was one of the sources where I learned about things. And on the forum, you would find the technical aspects and specific problems. So YouTube is not the best source to actually find particular, very individual issues. Uh, it's better to use the forums, the, the many, many forums, unfortunately. And that is one of the problems. And it's all, they're all in English which is a problem, for example, for people that do not speak English as a native language or, or even do not speak English. So it's very difficult then to find solutions to your problems. But uh, anyway, the forums are very good for particular things. YouTube was better for other things like entertainment, obviously, but also, for example, um, there's this new add-on coming out and uh, there are these YouTubers, they started um, reviewing them and, and making videos actually. So it, a, a video review was, for me, was always much better because you could really see it in action. Uh, whereas if someone writes an article um, on all those uh, sites that uh, do like FS Elite, but I'm not sure if FS Elite existed way back in the time. Um, yeah, it, it's a more static way of providing the information and uh, I always find it better to see videos. And that's how I ended up saying, you know, there are all these YouTubers that gave me really good information. Why don't I start? And I did kind of videos not, f not so much for entertainers. Most of my videos were not about flying from A to B, you know, just yet another flight, um, but were about testing the, the, the aircraft or testing an add-on or actually describing a problem that I had. And usually when I did a video about a problem, I also had a solution. <laughs> and uh, some of my videos in this channel um, that have like the, the mysterious... Uh, um, com radio frequency issue or stuff like that. Um, that actually, they, they have huge click numbers and, and over years, there's still people sending me comments on some of these because I solved a problem that, that I had, uh, quite a big problem also with, for example, the joysticks and, and it looked like they were defect. Um, 
and uh, I found out that in most cases, yes, there can be defect uh, access, but um, usually they're not. Usually it's something that you can remedy by resetting um, the joystick in Windows. Things like that. And for me, those videos and the reaction and the fact that I was be able to help people, um, that really was, was driving me to, to continue on the channel. What you have to realize, though, also is that, and, and that's why I'm always, I have a lot of respect for all of these other YouTubers, also of the ones that, that monetize. by the way, something that I never, never intended and I never did. Because for me, this is not about money. I don't need YouTube um, to finance my hobby. And I spent over the years, I don't even want to think about it, <laughs> the kind of money that I spent. And to, to be honest, a lot of the money I spent was also for the community. I know that sounds a bit strange now, but um, the idea was that because I can afford it, I would buy an add-on even if I have doubts about it. And I would uh, then test it and would try to give as good a, a review or as good a... <sighs> I'd always try to be fair, you know, because I'm not linked to any of those developers or companies out there, I don't, um, I don't color, like ro rose color, the, the, the reviews that I do. If, if I really fail, and I'm always trying to be fair, if I really fail repeatedly, although I had been reading the manual or had been reading forums and I wasn't able to solve a problem, I found out that a lot of other people have it. I have absolutely no problem of saying this in my video and giving a less favorable, at least, opinion about it. Yeah. I know not everybody likes that, um, but there you go. Um, and it's other YouTubers that do it in the same way where I know when I watch a video from those YouTubers and I see problems there, it's a very good chance that these problems are really there. They don't uh, sugarcoat it. And for me, that's important because also in recent years, my decision whether or not I'm spending money on something depends also on what I see with other YouTubers. And this is exactly where I'm coming from. So YouTube was never about making money. YouTube was never about producing myself in person. Uh, you can also see this because I never appear in picture because it's not about me. It is about um, the hobby. It's about me having fun, also creating those streams and, and videos. And that hasn't changed yet. It's just that life is um, dealing some... I don't want to call them blows, but um, yeah, you, you, from time to time you have to switch to another path and that path is less favorable, for example, for the hobby in this case. And uh, there had been, since the 2019, there had actually been a few of these um, path changes uh, because uh, in my family, first my father, then my brother, and there were health problems and unfortunately both of them have not survived it and um, during that time I had to and that was for almost three years or three and a half years I had to kind of help them care for them uh, to a degree and that took a lot of time then there was also corona and uh, my own health problems that I then got also uh, which just made it very difficult for me to spend time on on these kind of things here, on the hobby. Um, and it took me also quite some time to recover. Also mentally, sort of, you know, hard times like this, they, they leave a mark. And uh, yeah, so recently I've, I've, I've been a bit more active, but yeah, as life goes, and I'm still actually working, so I'm not retired. Do not intend to be retired in the next couple of years. So I do have a demanding job, which for me is still something that I consider fun or not fun. Well, I, I like my job, let's say. So for me, it's not 
about uh, fleeing from my job <laughs> into retirement. Um, on the contrary, I, I like really working also with uh, my colleagues and all that. So a lot of my time is used up by the job and now I've got another health issue in the family. Um, and uh, that one is a bit more challenging because it's in another town on the other end of the country. And I'm not sure um, how that's going to pan out, um, how we're going to do this, but um, it will again take most of my spare time, spare time also in like in vacation. So I simply cannot invest now time in, in things that I may want to do, but I need to make sure that, um, yeah, that the time is available for at least important things around that. And also, again, I'm still working. And I have started to um, get myself a little camper van set up. So it's a very simple one, self self made kind of for something that I purchased and built into my van. And uh, I'm doing short trips, usually at the weekend, because for longer trips, there's usually not the time at the moment. But that again means that my, my priorities have shifted somewhat again. And that uh, is the reason why this has become quite quiet on this channel. Yeah, quite quiet. <laughs> okay, so what does that mean now um, for the channel? Um, it basically means that I will continue to have a very low frequency of publications here on this YouTube channel. Um, there will be some streams on Twitch. Uh, so for those that uh, are wondering why I'm not streaming on YouTube anymore, YouTube just, at least um, when I made the decision to go to Twitch uh, at that time, it was just simply not, it, it didn't work for me. Um, for several reasons, first of all, there have been quite a few outages that might be better now, but uh, at, at the time it was, um, it was quite bad. Uh, the other thing is that YouTube messes with the video. Um, I know probably why they're doing that. I mean, they have to optimize the, the storage because, uh, I mean, they're, they're storing petabytes of, of YouTube uh, video data for free basically and uh, i can see why they are messing with the video and make it as small probably as possible to to be stored but that has a for me has a quality drop especially because i'm on a relatively low resolution compared to what's often used nowadays um, 4k is i guess uh, has become a bit more common uh, whereas i'm still on the old um, 1070 something by something the resolution and all of that makes the result especially when you watch it later um yeah also from videos um, when i watch them on my computer they look fine and when i watch them on youtube i can see how the quality has degraded it's just so for me uh, twitch is a very stable platform if you want to join me on twitch the link is uh, visible here please uh, Feel free, and uh, if you're someone that doesn't talk German, because the streams I do are predominantly German, let yourself be seen and let me know, and I can switch to a kind of a German-English hybrid <laughs> mode then, and uh, yeah, accommodate uh, some people that are not um, that don't talk German. Um, I will also do some try and flies, but again due to the really restricted time and the fact that I do review videos and by the way also streams before I publish them usually at least once if not even twice uh, deciding whether or not it makes sense to publish it uh, it can take quite a quite a bit of time also making videos is more work than you think and therefore um, yeah frequency will stay low and not every video that I've produced or not every stream that I've produced will be published. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of 
quite picky and uh, as I say, I need time to review them, uh, which if you have two and a half hour streams or two hour streams is difficult because uh, it, it takes at least two hours of your time, if not even more, especially when you do it more than once. Um, yeah, therefore bringing out a video or a, a YouTube version of the stream is is time intensive and um, therefore i have a big backlog now so i try to work through this backlog and take at least the ones where i think yeah that's worth uh, publishing it and i'll i'll put it out uh, so stay tuned you will see some uh, changes in the next couple of months and year but um, just to be clear in winter it's probably a bit more uh, active on this channel because um, my traveling will probably get a bit less as soon as the weather gets really bad. But um, over, overall, the situation hasn't changed. Right, so I hope that uh, gives you an idea of where we're heading to. And yes, I'm okay. I'm still on the channel. I will still do things just a bit slower and a bit less, a good bit less compared to what I used to do in earlier years. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, until next time.